Math 5 Quarter 1 Week 4 Lesson 1 Milk Base Let's learn about The Common Factors GCF Common Multiples and LCM of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Prell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Prell TV. Welcome back kids! Our lesson for today in math is about the common factors, GCF, common multiples, and LCM of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. After going through with this lesson, you are expected to Find the common factors, greatest common factor or GCF, common multiples, and least common multiple or LCM of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. Hello kids! Today, you will learn about the common factors, GCF, common multiples, and LCM of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. Factors are numbers we multiply together to get another number. When we find the factors of two or more numbers and found some factors that are the same, they are called common factors. Among the common factors of the set of numbers, it is called greatest common factors or GCF. For example, 12 and 16. The factors of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. The factors of 16 are 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. The common factors of 12 and 16 are 2 and 4. While the greatest common factor or GCF is 4. We can get a multiple of a number when we multiply it by another number. The list of multiples of a set of numbers are called common multiples. While the least common multiple is simply the smallest common multiple of a number. For example, the LCM of 4 and 5 is... The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. And the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and so on. Therefore, the LCM is 20. It is the least common multiple of 4 and 5. So the LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. In finding the GCF, we will use continuous division through prime numbers. The GCF is the product of all the prime divisors. For example, find the GCF of 24 and 32. Here are the steps in how to find the GCF. Step 1. Write the numbers horizontally and find a prime number that will divide all the numbers if possible. Write 24 and 32 horizontally. And then find a prime number that will divide all the numbers. So the prime numbers of 24 and 32 is 2. Step 2. Divide the prime numbers and write the quotient below the dividends. So 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 32 divided by 2 equals 16. The prime number of 12 and 16 is 2. Step 3. Continuous the process until all the numbers have a common prime divisors. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Get the prime number. So the prime number of 6 and 8 is 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 
Then 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And then multiply all the prime numbers. So 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Therefore, the GCF of 24 and 32 is 8. In finding the LCM, we use again the continuous division. For example, find the LCM of 24 and 32. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1, write the numbers in a horizontal line and then divide them by a prime number. The numbers are 24 and 32. 24 and 32 are divisible by 2, which is a prime number. Step 2, repeat step 1 until no two numbers in a new row has a common factor. So 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 32 divided by 2 equals 16. Then 12 and 16 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 6 and 8 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Step 3. The product of all the divisors and numbers in the final row is the LCM. Now, multiply. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 4 equals 96. Therefore, the LCM of 24 and 32 is 96. And now, let's go to learning task 1. Find the GCF using continuous division. Number 1. Find the GCF of 12, 16, and 24. 12, 16, and 24 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Then 6, 8, and 12 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Multiply all the prime numbers. 2 times 2 equals 4. Therefore, the GCF of 12, 16, and 24 is 4. Number 2. Find the GCF of 18, 24, and 36. 18, 24, and 36 are divisible by 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. 9, 12, and 18 are divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Next, multiply all the prime numbers. 2 times 3 equals 6. Therefore, the GCF of 18, 24, and 36 is 6. Number 3. Find the GCF of 8, 30, and 42. 8, 30, and 42 are divisible by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. 42 divided by 2 equals 21. So the prime number is only 2. Therefore, the GCF of 8, 30, and 42 is 2. And number 4, find the GCF of 9, 27, and 81. 9, 27, and 81 are divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. 81 divided by 3 equals 27. Then 3, 9, and 27 are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So, multiply. 3 times 3 equals 9. Therefore, the GCF of 9, 27, and 81 is 9. The common factors of two or more numbers are factors of all given number. The greatest common factor or GCF of two or more numbers 
is the largest number that is a factor or divisor of each number. The least common multiple or LCM of two or more numbers is the smallest number that is divisible by each of the given number or set of numbers. Learning Task 2 Find the GCF of the following numbers using continuous division. Number 1. Find the GCF of 24 and 72. 24 and 72 are divisible by 2. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. 12 and 36 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. 6 and 18 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 3 and 9 are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And then, multiply all the prime numbers. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 equals 24. Therefore, the GCF of 24 and 72 is 24. Number 2. Find the GCF of 18, 27, and 45. 18, 27, and 45 are divisible by 3. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. 45 divided by 3 equals 15. 6, 9, and 15 are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Next, multiply 3 times 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Therefore, the GCF of 18, 27, and 45 is 9. Number 3. Find the GCF of 24, 32, and 48. 24, 32, and 48 are divisible by 2. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 32 divided by 2 equals 16. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. 12, 16, and 24 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 6, 8, and 12 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. And next, multiply 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Therefore, the GCF of 24, 32, and 48 is 8. And number 4, find the GCF of 24 and 36. 24 and 36 are divisible by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. 12 and 18 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 6 and 9 are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So multiply 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Therefore, the GCF of 24 and 36 is 12. For the last activity, learning task 3, find the LCM of the following numbers using continuous division. Number 1. Find the LCM of 30 and 36. 30 and 36 are divisible by 2. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. 15 and 18 are divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So now, multiply all the divisors and the final number. 2 times 3 times 5 times 6 equals 180. Therefore, the LCM of 30 and 36 is 180. Number 2. Find the LCM of 27 and 45. 
27 and 45 are divisible by 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 45 divided by 3 equals 15. 9 and 15 are divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So multiply all the divisor and the final number. 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 equals 135. Therefore, the LCM of 27 and 45 is 135. Number 3. Find the LCM of 20, 45, and 75. 20, 45, and 75 are divisible by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 75 divided by 5 is 15. 4 is the only number that is divisible by 2 because 9 and 15 are not divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Then bring down 9 and 15. 2 is not divisible by 3, so just bring down 2. 9 is divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 15 is also divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. And then, multiply all the divisors and the final numbers. 5 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 5 equals 900. Therefore, the LCM of 20, 45, and 75 is 900. Number 4. Find the LCM of 54 and 72. 54 and 72 are divisible by 2. 54 divided by 2 equals 27. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. 27 and 36 are divisible by 3. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. 9 and 12 are divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Then multiply the divisors and the final numbers. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 4 equals 216. Therefore, the LCM of 54 and 72 is 216. Remember, the common factors of two or more numbers are factors of all given numbers. The greatest common factor or GCF of two or more numbers is the largest number that is a factor or divisor of each number. The least common multiple or LCM of two or more numbers is the smallest number that is divisible by each of the given number or set of numbers. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!